I think there's exciting ways. I mean, you know, like the one of the first papers that did the simulation was um, a Nico Schiff's paper in Nature a couple of years ago, where he uh, put a um, central uh, thalamic nucleus stimulator into the brain, and the patient um, basically had a clear improvement in the examination. What we would like to do is to do similar things non-invasively, right? So without needing brain surgery. And so that is the long-term goal. And I think what basically that's hopefully where things are going. There's a number of ways that are sort of potentially um, promising. You can potentially also stimulate through, you know, not, not opening up the brain. Problem is it becomes much more diffuse then and it's not stimulating specifically one part anymore. Um, but there's also techniques like focused ultrasound, for example, where you have ultrasound that sort of then meets at some part in the brain and that actually may allow you also to stimulate parts of the brain. So there's a number of very interesting and promising approaches developing.